Now, if I'm looking for the least, remember regioselectivity is really saying that where is that bromine going to add? Where does it want to add? Well, think about this reaction of HBr. That wants to have a more substituted or more stable carbocation, where if it's a tertiary carbocation, that's going to be the most preferred and the least regioselective. So we want the best or the most substituted alkene, the best carbocation that we can form. That's what we're looking for, for it to have the least regioselectivity. And how you can think of this, if it has the least regioselectivity, it is basically saying that there are no other options. Like it's for sure only going to choose this. And it'll make more sense once we draw these out. Let's say if I was looking at A. I'll draw the structure for this where I like to quickly show that this is this could be one, two, three, and four. I forget about the branching for right now just to have it be easier to draw. So one, two, three, and four. And I'll state this is one, two, three, and four. Then from there at carbon one, there are two methyl groups. All right, two methyl groups at carbon one. Also at carbon one, there's a double bond. At carbon two, there's also a methyl group. And we just drew the structure. Now remember with this reaction, we will form a carbocation and think of it as this is gonna go away. We could either form a carbocation here or we can form a carbocation here. Whichever one we decide to form, that's gonna give you a tertiary carbocation, which is the most stable. So actually, this would have already been our answer. That's gonna be the least regioselectivity because we already have the best option with having a tertiary carbocation. If we were to look at another one, let's say C, and again, I'll draw this out where I'll state this is carbon one, two, three, I'm gonna skip the branching one, four and five. So I'll draw five carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Going back to the one I skipped, that methyl is on this carbon, carbon three. Also at carbon two, we have a double bond and we drew the structure. So now think of the reaction where if we're gonna form a carbocation, is it gonna form here or here? Well, I know that it could form two potential uh, carbocations where it could either form here at a secondary carbocation or it can form here at a tertiary carbocation. Because there are two different options, that makes it more regioselective. But because this one only had the option of being tertiary, that's what makes it the least regioselective.